Grab that microphone. <laughs> I don't want to. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't want to. Um, oh the other day, I was talking to my sister. And I told her that I went into Dad's room and I looked him right in his eyes and I told him off. I cussed him out from the crown of his head to the Grab soles the of his feet. Grab the mic. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> I just don't like being told what to do. I get that from people all the time. My time. I want to do what I want to do. But can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. So I thought I was saying. I told my father off from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. I went in on him, looking him in his eyes, and I told him I did not appreciate the way he was treating my mother. I used all kind of big, now understand he's my father, so I used big, big words in a gentle, loving way. So my sister goes, well, what did daddy say after you told him off? I said, girl, nothing. He wasn't home. <laughs> <laughs> My, my thing is, if you want to use this, you can. Make sure you tell anybody you want off, make sure they're not home. <laughs> okay. Now, my next thing, um, last Sunday, Sunday before last, I actually answered a booty call. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to give the young people a bit of a long, a long time. So I answered the booty call. I actually bought a pair of thongs. <laughs> and I put them on. And I looked at myself in the mirror, and oh my goodness, it looks so good. Bra match, panties match, booty shine. <laughs> look good. So I put on a fur coat, and I went over to his house. And like a gentleman, he was taking my coat off. That's nice, you know. And as he took my coat off, he said, damn, baby, you came over here butt naked. I said, no, I got on some thongs. He said, where are you at? Hold on. They're they, they, they right here. You see, your favorite color. Like, oh, I'm getting ready to say. You really can't see him. So I got upset. And I took him up. I said, so you really want to see him? Here they go. And I left. And that was the end of that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but, um, I have a problem with breasts. <laughs> Not my breasts. And this particular night, I was cleaning the tub. Like, you know how you clean the tub? If you're tall like me, you're gonna lean over, squat on your knees, and you're gonna be rubbed. And these are just back and forth. But what happens when they run back and forth is that they get dry on the tub and they got stuck. <laughs> and I was finished, I got ready to get in my boobs, like, hold up. Mm, we can't go. I'm like, you come in, you got to get up, because they were stuck. So what I had to do was roll them up. <laughs> get in the, all I can hear was, <laughs> like, <"Whoa!" laughs> Y'all don't think these are big, these are really long, trust me. I had to roll them up like you do a joint. <laughs> so they up in here, they tight. But if I take these bad boys out and lay them out, they'll be flat like an ant kind of skin. <laughs> <laughs> I can slap somebody with them over there. <laughs> Woo! I tell you, sometimes I look at myself in the bathroom and I be like, girl, you a mess. I tell you, sometimes I just rub them around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I went and had an MRI. What do you call those? <laughs> Breast exams? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the lady put the thing down on the machine on my breast. She said, you not hollering. I said, they already flat. <laughs> she said, well, maybe you need to get a little bit closer. If I get any more closer, you're just going to have chest. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>